When I was young in the ancient times before the internet, I used to spend hours, days on end, reading mostly science fiction and fantasy. One of the books I read in the early 70s, um, or trilogy rather, just acquired a copy of again. That's um, this. Can't really remember it, just remember it being okay. So I've just bought a copy of it and I'm uh, just getting into it. It's good so far. One of the things I've been trying to do with my music writing lately is find a place for the music to fit. We don't really fit into any genre. We dip in and out of lots of things and whatever we try and do, if we try and write drum and bass or dubstep or whatever it might be, it always comes out sounding like us whatever elements we put in there. So at the moment I'm kind of exploring the idea of creating the kind of music that might fit in the kind of worlds that exist in classic fantasy novels or in science fiction. I'm always a little bit disappointed by the music in films. Often if you've got something set on another planet in a future science fiction type scenario, it's often some kind of weird electronic jazz that to me just sounds like electronic jazz. It doesn't really sound like music that might exist there. Films and programs that are set in a more medieval kind of setting sometimes get it a bit nearer if they root it in European folk styles. Occasionally they have it rooted in kind of American sounding semi-country music and to me it just doesn't quite fit culturally into that fake medieval world. So, as I said, we've been trying to bring some of those things together a lot of the disparate styles that we're into so we're mixing a little bit of electronic a little bit of drum and bass and dubstep on the bottom end but we're using a mix of medieval percussion medieval lead instruments some dark ages medieval instruments and sounds just trying to capture some of the atmosphere that you find in those classic fantasy novels getting quite a good response so far and I think we're picking up one or two new fans whose backgrounds are outside our usual genres. We're picking up I think a few people whose backgrounds are in progressive rock. Both Louis and I both have backgrounds in progressive rock. I caught a chunk of the new wave of British progressive rock first half of the 80s. Louis is more into the kind of Pink Floyd, Iron Maiden end of things. But both of us have got a little bit of that in our background. And I'm, I'm guessing it must come through a little bit in the music because we're starting to um, make contact with people whose, whose background is that and they seem to be liking some of our newer material. So that's an interesting area for us to perhaps explore a little further. We're also probably sounding a little bit more folky and medieval than we have before. We dabbled in medieval tunes in the very early days of Secret Archives and then kind of let it go largely because I don't think we had the instrumental skills to do quite what we wanted to do. A lot of those sounds are now available to us and it's far easier for us to create the lines that we want to work with our tunes. So new areas, potential new fans, trying some things out. We've got a three, probably a three track release coming out in the very near future. I'll tell you the title now for the first time, it's going to be called Three Wise Women. It may have three tracks in it, it might have more, we'll see. And it's a big step into the sound that we're kind of working towards. We don't quite know where it's going, so um, come with us and we'll see where we get to.